Hello, and welcome to Starside Cafe and the first uh, Let's Play. Hopefully, we will do more of these. Um, Our inaugural Let's Play. Yes. Joining me is Aaron Capo. You just heard him. Hello. How's uh, it going? So we're playing this little game that's out in like early access right now on Steam. It's called Long Gone Days. Uh, it's like a $15 indie game, uh, and it's very old school. And it's got this uh, pretty cool anime uh, art style. Yeah, I'm, I really like the art style. So you uh, you play Rourke, and you're like this new uh, sniper guy in the army. And uh, that's uh, how things start. Let's let it go from here. Rourke has a lot of existential questions he's asking himself. He's going to ask himself a lot more here in a little bit. <laughs> the art style seems very polished. It's probably the most polished thing about the game so far that I've noticed. I like when it goes all 16-bit as well. Yeah, that, that is also uh, a pretty nice art style. Did you know this was by, uh, like, a small developer out of Chile? No. I have not heard of a lot of games coming out of Chile. That's exciting. Yeah, me neither. Ooh, yes, I love this art style. I had a feeling that you might be super into this art style. Who's this girl? Lynn. Lynn! Of course, Lynn. Everything's been set up downstairs. They're going to arrive soon. You're just chilling out with your gun in this furnitureless room. I mean, that's usually how I spend a lot of my time. <laughs> I just kind of <laughs> sit in an empty Shouldn't room with YouTube. the lights You're going to get reported. Thanks. Yeah, that was my I first... I like that you can just say nothing. My first uh, decision was to say thanks or not. Oh, so this is combat right now. We're about to go right... We're going to get right into it. Um, I he wish... Seems... I do wish you could hear the music because it's very uh, ambient. Like, there's not any right now at this particular moment, but, like, the menu screen and uh, everything leading up to this moment was... Uh, had some nice sort of ambient music to it. Oh, got to take out some drones. Mm. So you got the ammo. So this is the future. You got the ammo in the upper left, and the number of enemies that you have to take out uh, beneath that. And I will say, the controls are a little strange because you're just moving Wait, so around with the directional buttons and yeah, that's crazy. Z and X. I thought I would have assumed the mouse. Yeah, I thought so as well, but no, that is not that's the case. An interesting choice. And I think I struggled a little bit as well because it's obviously using the, the directional keys rather than the mouse is like super imprecise. Also, <laughs> those shots look like they're right on the drone and they're not registering for some reason, so. Like I just took another shot and I missed. Drone is winning this little battle. You did it. There are no more drones. Good. I only had one bullet left, so. Yeah, take those soldiers down. These are real people? You're killing people. Well, I mean. Actually, they seem to just be hunched over. Yep. They <laughs> Man, I, I bet this is very difficult to play. It is more difficult than uh, you probably think it's going to be, just because the movement is just strange. I don't, maybe that's something they can change in like an update, mm. uh, or at least they could somehow make it more precise. Uh, like just moving, or running around the world is also a little bit clunky uh, because of uh, the way that they decided to do the movement. Mm-hmm. It's, it seems like very chill 
uh, which is uh, a big. It's very contrasted by like uh, the murder you just did. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, I did just take out some drones and murder some people, but it's super chill in in this building. But they kind of they kind of start you off right away with like the two different types of combat that you're gonna run into in the game. Yeah, that's the other thing is this. Uh, takes place in Russia. Oh, look at these guys. Wait, what is this, what are you doing here? What's gonna happen? Uh, this is the other style of combat that I was referring to. Multiple spots. What are you gonna, are you gonna shoot them or punch them? Uh, I'm gonna shoot them. It's like turn-based um, shooter combat, I guess. That's interesting. When I tried to explain this to you on the podcast we did it a few weeks ago, I was having a hard time coming up with the ways to describe uh, how this uh, everything works because this is interesting. Because it's like first person, but it's not first person. It's turn-based uh, combat, but it's also got some like shooter moments. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things. It's very unique. Oh, you punched him. I shot him. Shot him in the head. And he oh, shot you shot him. him. You're just like standing three feet away from each other, both shooting each other? I mean, this is how combat was done in the Revolutionary War and I, the Civil War. People just lined yeah, up a, and just like shot at each other. And the, they use a lot of drones in the Civil War? Well, I mean, in the future, things regress back to the Revolutionary War, I believe, is how this works. Has gone. Super good point. Oh, you did some kind of critical attack, it seems. I did. So, like I said, I also mentioned this felt kind of like old school, like Super NES uh, RPG style almost, mm -hmm. where uh, it's super simple, but there's like you have the attack, you have the items, and you have like the special skills. Mm -hmm. um, so, I got like, uh, I think in. December or January like there was a Super NES Classic on sale at like a yes. Target and so I got one of those and I only started um, what is that game um, the one with Zelda. no 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 the RPG <laughs> with uh, Ness he, from like Super Smash Brothers Melee what's his Earthbound, oh, Earthbound? yeah yeah and uh, just the sort of isometric uh, style of moving around and talking to people and then like having these combat sections that are somewhat like this kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Mm. So your morale level is kind of like your action points or like your magic? A little bit, yeah. So if you... Uh, like, if you want to use the skills, it takes up your morale. Um, I wonder if we'll get, like, translations for those things at some point, or if there's just always going to be Russian that I'm not going to be able oh, to no. read. Oh, no. You're going to have to fight another two guys? What's going to happen? Uh, there was gunshots. You couldn't hear it. Oh, no. So now we have jumped Inside back in core. time. Oh, interesting. Man, the art... I, I am probably going to say this a lot in these videos, but I, this art style is great. It is pretty good. Getting a mission. Well, should we wrap up episode one of this? And sure. Continue? We will be back with episode two, where we'll pick up where we left off. Getting a briefing.